Hi everyone and welcome back. Today I will give you a tiny glimpse inside of my little Armadillidium NASA tomb enclosure. The Armadillidium NASA tomb is native to Britain and large parts of Europe and they are also introduced in North America. This species can grow up till 21 mm. The differences between an Armadillium vulgare and a NASA tomb are that the Armadillidium NASA tomb has a paler appearance. But the main distinguishing feature are the darker stripes spanning from head to rear with triangular like markings. Also unlike many Armadillidium species this one does not form a complete ball when unrolled. They like to live in drier areas than most isopod species. And they are frequently found in non-inhabited areas, such as railways or industrial grounds. Their diet consists out of decomposing tree leaves, microorganisms and all sorts of decaying plant materials. So earlier in the video I said my little Armadillidium nasa tomb enclosure. That's because me myself is starting up with a fresh colony. And I only do have 5 specimens that I found in the wild. I discovered that they like fish flakes and carrots too. And I only keep one third of the enclosure wet. They are still kind of shy, but I really start to enjoy the species. This will be a learning process for me too, but I keep you guys updated. I did find many information about the species on this website. And they also provide information about many other isopod species. For people who are interested, I also will drop the link in the description. Well guys, I hope this colony kicks off, so in the future I can provide you guys with many updates about them. And hopefully we might see some babies growing up. I was glad to make this video about them, because there is not that much on the internet about the species, and I gave them the stage they deserve. I thank you all for watching and I hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I see you next time. Bye bye buggers!